capital market regulator SEBI is in no mood to relent or give any relief on compliance with a minimum public shareholding deadline. Bloomberg TV India learns that SEBI has sent notices to various companies warning them to adhere to the deadline or face delisting or even a five-year ban for promoters. Saloni joins us with exclusive details on that story. Saloni, quite a tough stand SEBI seems to be taking. Absolutely right, Vivek. Now, Sabi is talking tough and is looking to strictly asking companies to adhere to this minimum public shareholding deadline. Now, we have to remember that Sabi, time and again, at several uh, public engagements, has said that they will not give an extension uh, to uh, this June and August uh, deadline that they have stipulated for private and public sector banks to reduce uh, uh, to uh, meet the deadline. Uh, now, uh, Sabi has sent notices to several companies who have to uh, reduce uh, their uh, shareholding. Uh, the notices also says that non compliance would lead to delisting. Also, there would be a three-year ban on the company and a five-year ban on the promoter group. Now, SEBI is personally engaging with these companies and figuring out what is their action plan to, uh, to meet these uh, deadlines. Also, to give you a background, uh, SEBI uh, has uh, the minimum, uh, two, almost 200 uh, listed companies are to meet this uh, deadline and reduce uh, their uh, public shareholding. Also, almost uh, 63 per, uh, companies only in the BSC Top 500 are to uh, meet, this, meet this deadline and reduce uh, their shareholding. Also, cumulatively, approximately 55,000 crores of money will be uh, mobbed up from the capital markets when these, once these companies hit the uh, capital markets. Also, uh, 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 SEBI has stipulated a June uh, deadline for private companies to meet 25% public shareholding norms and 10% uh, 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 for uh, public sector companies. The deadline for them is August 2013. Also, if we see companies uh, that are in especially the BSC top 500 who have to reduce or meet these deadlines. Uh, PSU banks like MMTC, HMT, uh, National Fertilizers, Hind Copper and RCF are the companies which have uh, holding, uh, which are more than 90%. Also in the private sector pack, uh, companies like Bombay Rayon, AstraZeneca Pharma, Purvankara, Omax, Gillette, Thomas Cook, Mahindra Holidays and DB Corp are companies who have to meet the 25% uh, uh, deadline, have to reduce their uh, 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 shareholding uh, below 75%. Back to you. All right. We will keep an eye on that uh, big development as it goes forward. Time clearly running out. But companies also going on to the drawing board. I don't think corporate India kind of expects anymore that SEBI is going to relent. But that's a fairly tough stand for a regulator to take.